Sippy toots. Here comes the hype train. Go on, two. Hey! Hype train! Oh, seriously? Hey, hey, people, and welcome to this news video with myself, Six Plus Steve O. Uh, let's get straight into it and take a look here. So, I um, have literally just got in the door from work, 12 hours today, and uh, always do long shifts on a Monday, and of course. about I've literally got in the door I've just run straight up the stairs I've turned it on and we're gonna take a look and see what's going on uh, I'm on the Warhammer community site and this is the news what do you mean not all beast snaggers ride squigs let's take a look here we go uh, so what we got here uh, now I've been hearing that some of you boys have been getting your teeth kicked in by them big beast snagger gits oi I don't care how much of a laugh that is. I want to know what makes them boys so tough. Get the Ubies back on. They figured out the squig hog stuff in this regular feature last time, right? What's a regular feature anyway? Zog it. You lads make my head hurt. There you go. Right. Let's, uh... The beast snaggers might well be known for riding into battle on the backs of various squig species but some delight in bringing their targets down on their own two feet, banding together into large mobs of beast snagger boys. These ferocious fighters can often be found crashing into the monsters brought down by their sticker-lobbing comrades and hacking their tough hides to pieces. Okay. A relatively short lifetime of hunting huge, dangerous beasts has made these orcs particularly large and strong in comparison with regular boys. While they're not quite as durable as a knob, they can certainly swing their choppers just as hard, which makes them especially prone to lording it over the boys they charge alongside. And, uh... Tell you that I fucking love what I see right here. Um, this this fella looks lovely. This is brilliant. Um, a big hench beast snagger boy. He looks. I oh, yeah. It's really good. Really really good. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. Uh, although the beast snaggers' adherence to the old ways of orky culture makes them an ideal fit for the equally traditionalist snake bites, they can be found across almost every clan. While other greenskins might see them as a bit weird, no one will turn down a few extra bodies in a fight. And it can be a good laugh seeing the beast snagger boys trying to harpoon giant tanks. As if they weren't tough enough already, the frequent and plentiful injuries that come as part of any career in squig wrangling mean frequent trips to the dock. And by necessity, beast snagger docks are some of the most creative around. Thankfully, we haven't had a reason to catch a look at one up close just yet, but surely they can't be any worse than Gasgol's personal sawbones. Uh, are you looking to start your own war in preparation? Yeah, the usual, the usual spill by our stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're trying to get you to buy the start collecting set, boys, uh, boss mob, or gorkonauts. Yes, they're trying to say that, that we've got lots of existing stuff, buy that now. Um, and says, says it, as if they weren't tough enough already, the frequent and plentiful injuries that come in many careers, we will mean frequent as the dock, and by necessity, beast snagger docks. Uh, so there we go. So that fella we saw on the artwork. I'm not going to call it a pig dock. It's going to be a beast snagger dock. Essentially, it's probably going to be essentially a modern take on a pig dock. Uh, some of the most creative around. Okay, so I think we're starting to see now that the that that dock is going to essentially do probably what the um, current docks do 
for our regular boys, they're going to be sort of just for anything with the beast snagger keyword. I would presume that's kind of the way I see it. Um, but yeah, basically what they're saying is these are bigger and harder than your average boys because they're tough and grizzled and you know they're even more tough and brutal and savage than your regular boy. Uh, like everything it says about them, like how it talks in about the snake bites bit, it, it just it sounds snake bite, doesn't it? The, a lot of the ways they talk about um, their culture and stuff is very snake bite. Although the beast snaggers' adherence to the old ways of orky culture makes them an ideal fit for the equally traditionalist snake bites, they can be found across almost every clan. Um, this is. This is let's let's not make any secret about it. The reason they've done this is so they sell to more people. They don't want to make it uh, restrictive and just snake bite only. For one, snake bites are probably one of the least popular clans to collect and play um, currently. Although I think that's going to change quite drastically from now going forward. I really do. Um, they were never going to do that so i think they've kind of fit the law around their their sales you know um because for all intents and purposes the, these are snake bites aren't they 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 really are um or, or feral orcs and i know snake bites and feral orcs they're not the same we know we get it um but yeah um they are don't they they are i mean i and i i i love this um so we're getting a, a squad of these, basically, in a box. Um, I predicted that we were going to get new boys. So I was kind of right but wrong at the same time. Uh, there's nothing. We may still get a new upgrade to the current boys kit. Although, it's after today's news, after this, I think it's less likely. Um, so effectively, yes, we're getting new boys. But they're not going to replace our existing boys. Um we're getting uh, beast snagger boys, and uh, by the sounds of it, they're they're gonna effectively be scar boys, aren't they? Because um, scar boys, if you do goths and you do the upgrade to scar boys in the current codex and things, um, they are that kind of bridge between boy and knob. They're veteran boys. They haven't quite reached that level of knob yet, but they're tougher than you are the average boys, and they come with uh, strength five. Um, but they've you know got the same toughness and stuff as a boy, so they are a bit tougher. And it, it says here, um, it's the lifetime of hunting huge dangerous made these orcs particularly large and strong in comparison with regular boys. While they're not quite as durable as a knob, it's scar boys. It's a plus one strength, and the toughness is the same as a boy. So they're not they haven't got that higher toughness that the uh, the knobs have. Um, oh no, the knobs, no, knobs don't have a higher toughness, do they? They've got an extra wound. So they probably won't have the extra wound like the knobs have. So yeah, they're basically going to be boys with a plus one strength, I reckon. Um, and maybe they'll get more attacks or something. I don't know. I mean, he's got a lovely looking chopper there. I, I mean, they just look cool as hell. I really like this. I mean, this, again, they're, just, they're teasing this information to us. It's just a little bit at a time. Now, I wonder... Have those barrels been drilled, or are they going to come like that? I reckon they've been drilled. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I like the magazine bullets coming out of it. It's a really cool looking slugger. Um, there's nothing I don't like about this. The head looks really cool as well. The face. This is very sort of traditional style orc head. I, I like it. I really like it. I love the scars, so it shows that these, you know... He's a veteran, he's a bit battle-worn and that, so these look like they're all going to come with scars and probably have some bullet and dent wounds and stuff. He's got the skin of a hide of some sort of beast he's uh, skinned enough. Yeah, it's, oh, they just look cool. Um, and I'm calling it now, uh, with the Combat Patrol box, I think we're getting these in there. I think the Combat Patrol box is going to come with a squad of these fellas, um, a squad of three of the um, the uh, pig, pig squigs riders. I think it's going to come with them. And I think we'll obviously get some kind of HQ. Quite possibly that bone boss that we've seen in the artwork. Uh, or maybe like the pig doc if he's an HQ choice. Or the beast snagger doc, whatever they're calling him. Uh, I, I think we're getting that in a 
combat patrol box. I think the combat patrol box is going to be very beast snagger focused. That's what I predict anyway. I think I think they're going to be really going in hard on selling this stuff. Um, and oh, I just think this guy looks hench as fuck, and I really really like him. Um, but but what what do you guys think? Um, surely you like this guy, can't you? Surely. Ah, oh, I mean, I am obviously I'm going to say I love him because I do. But I'm 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 fully on that hype train now. I am I can't all in any negative negativity towards this stuff. I la 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 la. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. The sound of the train. <laughs> It's too much. I can't hear you over all the excitement and the hype. I am I am on a one-way express train to Hypeville. Um, and uh, you need to jump on this ride with me because we're, we're heading there, people. We're heading there. There is no slowing us down. We are heading there. The more of this stuff they leak out, it gets more exciting. There's more good news all the time. The stuff looks really cool. I've really liked the uh, the the Squig Riders they've shown off thus far. I really like this guy. A, a squad of these is going to be awesome. I am most likely going to be adding a contingent of sort of snake bites to my bad moons. I think all this beast snagger stuff. I'm probably going to make snake bites. I don't care whether the rules are any good for it. I just think it fits. It's going to look cool. I've always sort of I've been on the fence for a while thinking that I want to add some snake bites to the bad moon clan because snake bites are my second favorite clan and yeah this just gives me the perfect excuse to do that and add all this sort of more feral looking um you know raw hand-to-hand -hand combat more organic stuff to you know an otherwise mechanized army uh, and I just think it's going to be awesome and I think it'll be it'll, it'll, it'll be nice to have two contrasting looks and you know, to do some different painting other than yellow. Although it'd be interesting to see what these guys look like with yellow on them and that. You know, who knows? Um, I don't know. I'll decide later on. But I just, yeah, this this is cool. This is cool. But yes, guys, like I said, share in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of these guys. Let me know um, what you think is going to be in the uh, Combat Patrol um, box when it comes out. Uh, we know it's going to be, you know, approximately 500 points. We know it's got to fill a patrol detachment, so we know we've got to have an HQ and troops and some other stuff. So let me know what you think is going to be in there. I'm calling it now. I think it's going to be a squad of these guys. We're going to get some of them um, uh, squig hog riders, and we'll get an HQ of most likely that bone boss, and then possibly a little something extra. It all depends on the points. We don't know how many points this stuff's going to cost yet. Um, we know what what a current boy is, what, eight points? These are likely to be, I don't know, they, they, the points of them might change when it comes out, but we think these you know, these are going to be a bit more expensive, most likely, aren't they? Um, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see, really interesting to see. It is exciting stuff. It really, really is. Um, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Anyway, I'm just uh, waffling now, and I? I've, I've read everything. I've shared my thoughts. There's nothing more to say other than um, hit the like button. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button because I cover all this news as it comes out um, as soon as I can. Uh, this is the place for your Orc news and anything Orc related, really. And um, I've got a, a Patreon link at the end if you want to help support the channel. Uh, do all that stuff but yeah get in the comments section let me know what you think do you like this stuff if not why not how can you not like that look at it it's fucking gorgeous um and uh yeah let me know what you think is going to be in that combat patrol box and uh what you're planning to do etc let's get a conversation going but anyway guys for now this is a very excited uh hype train conductor signing out